God, we're back here. Look at the state of it. It's a bloody mess. Ah! Okay. Okay. Not my problem. I didn't do it. Okay. Let's start from this part of the room. So, uh, left to right, I guess. Um, I can see some sort of big machine on the other side of all this crap. Uh, a steel cabinet with a double door. Uh... I think there's- I think these fans are for ventilations. They're probably there to circulate air. Well, I'm hoping that's the case. There's some old computer monitors at this desk. You don't see CTR- CRT monitors that much anymore. Hmm. I'm suspicious of those monitors. Uh, let's see. Look, look at the desk. Oh, on one sec- hold on. Oh. Look, Junpei. The rust on here looks like Elvis's face. Uh, yeah. How exciting. Okay, okay. This one, <laughs> did you say? Oh, here we go. There are piles of crap everywhere. Man, this place is a mess. It's so messy. I don't know where to start. Some of this crap looks familiar. I think a lot of these are parts of the puzzle we saw in the other rooms. If that is true, then this room could be Zero's laboratory. Perhaps Zero would shut himself in this room to devise the machines and puzzles he needed to plan this fruition. Um. Okay. So check the check the check. It's just a pile of junk. Out. There's nothing useful here. Right, and lastly, check, check that table or the chair. Fuck, fuck the chair. We haven't got time. It's important. Oh, it's no, a it's chair. Not. <laughs> Stop wasting time! Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, so this is the cartography thing of the puzzle. Hey, Jumpai, isn't this a nautical table? Yeah, and I feel like I've seen this before. Yes, you have, fucking motherfucker! Move material added to the screen. Okay, uh. Not a ruler that's attached to the. Oh, okay. Yep! Okay, let's. Let's see, uh. Oh, there's dials and knobs. There's a control panel Great. in front of a big screen here. Wonder if any of these buttons do anything. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, there's something on the screen window. What is this? There are 15 cells here with numbers and letters in them. Let me see that. He has no. <laughs> well, you have anything? Uh, see. You don't have anything, do you? <laughs> I see. So, when, so whenever you touch a cell, the ones next to it turn on or off. You just gotta, you just gotta use all, use that to make the all cells on the right and the bottom and the bottom green. Ah. Uh... Hey, Junpai, I found this piece of paper under that thing. You want to take a look at it? Uh, do you think this might have something to do with the puzzle? No! Throw in the bin! <laughs> it's a oh. piece of paper Clover gave me. There are a bunch of numbers and letters connected by equal signs on it. Just like she said, this is probably related to the puzzle on the screen somehow. Oh, genius. Thanks, Clover. This really helps. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, well, of course it, well, of course it helps. If, if it, she didn't give you that, you better be stuck! Alright, let's go back and try again. Anyway, it looks like it just did make all the cells all green. Um, hmm. I think you can press the hint button. Don't just randomly press. Press the hint. Stop it. <laughs> You're just wasting time. <laughs> stressing him out by doing <laughs> I've spent like over an hour on this room for Christ's sake. That's how long it's going to take uh, if we don't take this seriously. Uh, this is a no, lot don't leave. No, I will. I'm sorry, I'll come back in. If I, I should really look at for this, sorry, touching the cells are on cells. When I touch the cell, I touch the one next to it and change. So I just have to touch the right cell to make all the cells all green. One more time! 
Right. That hint. That hint is your clue. Right. Cool. Zero equal is zero. Six is six. C twelve. It's hexadecimal. Ah. Right. Right. So you've got that right. Uh huh. Do you, do you know what you need to do now? Think so, but I think I need to find it. It's all these need to make the the num. I know what what it means, but it's just no. To put that back. That's there. Uh. No, that's fine. No, that's. Good. Try the top. Did you press the top top left one? Mm. Okay, so. That's done that. What if I do this? No. That Go back. Still fine there. Uh, so it needs to make 10. And the other one needs... Yeah, this is, where it's gonna get this is where it's gonna get tricky. If it takes us too long, I can just do some magic. L is 21. Right. So the F is... Oh god, I need to remember that. Right, so that's that one done. I'm assuming I need to light all these up or something. No, because if, if you notice when if you notice when six and four appear, mm -hmm. that's correct. Because if D is, if I remember correctly, that's fourteen. So oh. you, there you go. Oh. There you, uh, go. you got it. I totally did that. I knew what I was doing. You did it, Jumpy. Yeah, I totally did. I I remembered all the things. You're so smart. I am. I, I am. You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle. Even Just though you one... completely 100% guessed it and need and may have needed a guide if you spent like too long on it and had to get his editor to maybe, maybe edit this part out to make it look like he was actually smarter than he actually is. Hey, come on, you're you're embarrassing me. I totally knew the answer to that. Oh, well, don't get cocky, kid. We don't got the time for that. Look at this. Check out the right edge of the control panel. The little slit slid open. Something came out. Look like this. You got a cross emblem. Oh, what is this? Resident uh, Evil? Metal plate yes. shaped like a shield. There's a cross engraved on it. Right. Oh my god, it foreshadowed the new Pokemon game! Alright, okay, so let's see. Anything check here? The CT, check the CRT monitors. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to turn into Five Nights at Freddy's? Well, no, because look, see? Look on the right. table. There, it looks oh, like there's two shield holes. So you need it's, two of them. It's not moving. Well, it's perfectly obvious how we're supposed to open it. Right, okay. Um, oh, there's right. four of them. I yep. put the emblems into the invitation on the desk, but... You need to find the best of them. Uh, <laughs> nothing's happening. Oh my god. Wait, what's Snake doing? I I'm feels... feeling around, I can't see after all. <laughs> I feel symbols engraved just above each indentation. On the upper left is the steering wheel symbol. On the upper right is the cross symbol. On the bottom left is a mysterious circle symbol. And lastly, the waffle pattern is engraved on the bottom right indentation. Okay, so you need to move each symbol to seems to have been given a number. One steering wheel, two cross, three mysterious circle, and four waffle patterns. <laughs> Perhaps we need to insert them in order. That order, huh? Okay, do I need the other symbol? There are three monitors here. The power's on, but there's nothing on any of the screens. What if I push this? So, the keyboard. No, it's not gonna work. You, you need you need the symbols to get it to work. Right, no dice. What is this? It's so small. I wonder what it is. Bet you've heard a lot of people to you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Can't go there. Done. No machine! Click uh, that one. This one? Not that one. This one. No, the one in the middle. Okay. Because this might look familiar. <laughs> it might. This monitor is part of a mach. Uh, this monitor is part of this machine. It's really dim though. I got a map of world on, but I can barely see it. Um. Where Maybe is it? it's a good idea to open your notes. Uh, I know. Uh, hold. It's that one. Uh, digital route information about Alice. It should be on like the last disc page. I want to say. Okay, go, tip go, fuck, no. go, go, go. Um, Map screen. Is it... 
Is it this one? This is found yeah. on, from the study. That is, that's the one. Jumpai, it looks like there's a compass on here. Ah, now I get it. Uh, what do you mean? It's like an etch-a-sketch. I guess you weren't there, Clover, but I solved a puzzle like this one in the wheelhouse. I think I need to just do the same here. That has nothing to do with an etch-a-sketch, Junpei! The important part is the nautical table we just found. I just have to match up the directions of the compass on the lines of the, of the etch-a-sketch. I used the steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I think I'm going to use this wheel attached to the side here. No wonder ships keep going missing, they keep using fucking etch-a-sketches! Okay then, show me now. No. Oh, well, fine, we'll start <laughs> <the present. laughs> Maybe I ought to run the through these structures. Well, Richard, you've definitely... well, Richard, you've been here for a minute. No, now you gotta eat one of your wasabi peas. Oh, oh, oh no. No. <laughs> so basically, people who don't know this, Richard said before the recording that he was good. Everything, every minute he was in this room, he was gonna eat a wasabi pea. No, I'm joking. This one like, probably okay. works the same way as your wheel. We don't joke around, Rich. You did this to yourself. And the wheelhouse did. If I just touch the direction I want to turn up, turn to, the compass will turn in that direction. I, then I just gotta press stop and the compass is pointing where I want to. I'm betting, I'm betting something will happen if I can do it right. Right, let's do this. Oh, fire alarm! Fire alarm! Oh, thank God. Yeah, you did it, Jumpy. Good boy, he's a good boy. Moo! <laughs> ah, cow. knock it off! Arg! Hey, don't <laughs> we, we, don't have time to screw, we don't have time for screwing around right now. Check out the right side of the monitor. It just kind of slid open, someone came out. Oh, yeah. I had noise too. I hear lots of noises. <laughs> you know that big box in the hall by the exit? I think it made a noise. It's uh, still like up. something unlocking, you know? A noise, huh? <laughs> it's Aha! Oh. Alright, so a metal something plate shaped like a shield. There's a symbol that looks like a steering wheel engraved on it. Why did you have to check it? You could see that. Right, next, we, uh we we still have four we have two more puzzles. What is this? We'll right. find out. Let's see what happens when I Whoa! Well, now we got something on the screen at least. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait a minute. I saw something like this when I figured out that Morse code puzzle back in the communications office. Morse code? Yeah. The dots here look like Morse code. I don't remember seeing a fucking exclamation point at the end of that question hmm. mark. The dots on the first <laughs> line and four on the second and then one on the last. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, perhaps you should give it a shot anyways. Alright, I'll try. Before I do that, though, maybe I should have run for the instructions. If I just tap the buttons, I'll enter a dit. If I hold it, I'll enter a da. Once we enter the answer, I'll automatically determine the correct answer or not. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so... Uh... Go back. You, you don't have a clue. You need to find a clue for this. Um... Back yeah. Out. Let's have a look. Look, around, look. Look on the room a bit more. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's a cab, a steel cabinet with a double door. Uh, what is this? Uh, the metal shirt does look pretty sturdy. It's framed with black and yellow warning stripes. Right, let's open it. <clears throat> Holy shit. That's pretty damn creepy. There's yeah. a coffin in here. A coffin. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, um, does Seven think... Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's fucking he's pale. pale. <laughs> he's thinking the same thing as I am. No, wait. C could this be? I'm is sorry, but what is now? going on? What's annoying? That Isn't it that weird preserved person? All ice. Oh, yeah. the all, all ice. I wonder if there's a vampire in it. Oh no, he's shiny! <laughs> right, I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell them, because we only got five minutes left. Well, at any rate, let's have a look around. Around? Oh. There's a metal plaque on the coffin. Snake's touching it. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Hmm. 
Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Oh, well, let's open it, shall we? Clover, would you give me a hand? That's okay. Okay, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, that was fast. Ha! Huh. No. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. No <laughs> luck, it doesn't seem to be ready to open. Yeah, but it's not like it screwed shut or something. Yes. I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven, do you think you could open it with your superhuman strength? Oh. No, no, I. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well, we'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? And let me recover a bit. I just ate some wasabi peas. <laughs> Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge, beneath the navel of the gigantic. Is that actually true? Hmm. There's a clue. All ice. Is it going through this screen to show it? You click on the screen again. The clue, the, the clue is, you have to spell out a word right with Morse code. Uh, what? Well, have you figured out what you're supposed to do here, Chion P? Um, it looks like the word's supposed to go here in three letters. It's got three lines, and I think each line is one. I see. Well, if that's the case, then perhaps the letters you need to make uh, up is of two symbols, four symbols, and one symbol, respectively. After all, isn't that what you just said? One line has two spaces, then four, and only a single space. I see. So, in other words, I gotta enter either dots or dashes. And then a set of two, and then four, and then just one. Yes, well, so it would see. Maybe I ought to run for the instructor, but just tap the... Yeah. Yeah. You've done that. Right. Do I have my notes? Um, can you press right? No, I can't. Okay. Do you know what it spells out? All ice. Do you know what right. it is? I okay, know so what, what, is. what are the dots? What is it? Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot. Dash, dot, dash, dot. Dash, dot, dash, dot. 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 Oh. Oh, it seems you have solved the puzzle, Junpei. Excellent work. The answer was ice. How did you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds of the machine made. After that, it was a trivial matter to decode them. Ah, oh, yes. I believe I, I heard a noise. I don't understand this bit. I believe I heard a no noise somewhere from the right of the device you've just saw. It sounds like something sliding open. D do you see anything that could have made that noise? Yeah, that's true. Ah, oh, yes. One more thing. I heard a sound of behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. What? The covers are locked! Let's go and find Alice! Wait, Get out of there! A metal plate shaped like a shield. It has some sort of weird pattern engraved on it. I don't know how to describe it. Considering where I found it, it's probably a code. Stop looking at this. Just look at the thing. Hello? All right. Alice! You in there? Fine. I'll open it. Okay, Junpei, you can do this. It's just a box. There's nothing in the zone. There's no zombies. Holy shit, if this is coffin, there's gonna be something horrible in there, I just know it. Alright, death draw. Here we go! Yeah. Uh, where is she? And then you turn around and she's a corpse behind you. <laughs> oh, like, that's really gonna make fucking sense. <laughs> oh man, there's nobody in there. Shit, I can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean, nobody? Were you expecting someone to be in Ah, uh, uh, it's a long story. Ask Junpei about it sometime. 
Well, just like Sun said, there's nobody in there. There is something in there, though. That, well, two somethings, actually. What is that? Click on it. Oh, there are two things on the bottom of the coffin. Looks like we got like a plate with an emblem on it and uh. The Neptune. Yes, we finally found. Now we can get through the hallway. We can get out of here! That's correct, Clover, but we do need to get out of this room first, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. Put those things in the finger, Patrick! I don't have any objections to that. I don't think we'll use the Neptune Kino in this room. It's really important though, so I'll keep it in my pocket for now. As for this other thing... Now I have the coffin. Metal plate shaped like a shield. It has a sort of hollow cross eyes pond like a waffle. The waffle pond looks like the lid off the coffin. Hmm. Alright. Okay. To the computer! Let's put those things in the machine. Okay, sorry, I was just checking if there was anything else. Uh, there we go. So, it Let's was... put it in the machine. Well, put... No, uh -huh. that's the wrong one. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so, what was it? It was first... Steering, steering wheel. S wheel... Mm -hmm. oh, Whoa! Look, well, now, we just got something on the monitors, at least. What's that? Looks like some kind of puzzle. Puzzle? Are you mad? Uh, I wonder if these are all. Here, I'll read them to you. Wonderful. When you touch a numbered area, the area will be selected and it will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red ball. Can't move. You can't move the red ball! You can only move three to five balls in a single layer. Press the check button once you have moved all of them, except for the red ones, which you cannot. You can't move that fucking red! Uh, the digital root of the balls must be... Wait. In an area... Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Thank you for skipping. <laughs> I was reading it, my bad. That's bar. it. <laughs> no, don't leave Clover, I'm sorry! <laughs> Uh, I still really don't get it. Whatever. Like they say, practice makes perfect. Let's give it a shot. Don't you mean practice makes perfect? Hey! Let's see you solve the next one. Then you can make fun of me. No, sounds boring. Right. I need the other... I need the other, um... No, you don't. Uh, this is a lot harder than I expected. The rules are displayed on the screen. No, I don't want to read it again. I was just seeing if I could No, put... no, don't. Don't. They all activate a puzzle. One more time. All right. So, I've got all those balls there. And I've got a... You basically... The, the number always tells you what you have to make. So, basically, you have to make six and you have to make three. Oh. So, I need to think of the digital root of six. Yep. All right. Okay, let's see. But you also have to make up the digital route to make free as well at the same time. Ah. There we go. Got uh, numbers left. Yep. Right, okay, so I need to ha use all the numbers. Except well, actually, nine. You... Yeah. yeah. Fuck. There you go. Okay, this is it, right? But nothing's happening. Nothing ever happens here. <laughs> Nothing ever good happens on this fucking ship. There are still three more indentations left empty. I imagine something will happen when they are all filled. Doesn't that seem likely? Alright, the next one is the cross. Mm -hmm. Let's put this in. Time for the vote. Hey, Jimmy, something just showed up on the screen. Oh, sorry. Let's go. Uh, this puzzle sure looks a lot like the last one. 
Yeah, but there's more of those red balls you can't move. Uh, the numbers for each area are two. Looks like you got the same rules as the last one, though. You sure you don't want to double check that? No, I'll be fine. If I get confused, I'll just look at the screen over there, right? Anyways, like to say, a picture is worth a thousand awards. Let's give it a shot. I think you it mean in words. Isn't that a picture is worth ten a thousand words? Hey, shut up! Or at least I'm trying, alright? Hey, not you gave up. Alright, so you can't use one and nine. Oh wait, no, it's right. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about those zero. It doesn't matter. That's awesome, Jupe. There's only two left now. You can do it. I fucking somewhat believe in you. All right, the next one was definitely the this one. Co code. Yes. Let's put this one in this. Uh, let's put the emblem of the secret code. Damn, this puzzle looks like a lot like the last one. No, look, this looks like the rules are the same. Uh, do you think you should be double checking it? Come on, this is the third time I've done this. I'll be fine. So this, uh, um... If you can't think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself. You might hurt something. Ah, oh, shut up! Just give me a break, alright? I'll think of something! Seven all and right, seven. So alright, yep. uh, right, okay. Oh, there we go. Excellent work, Junpei. You've only got one. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It oh no, wait! That's my lot vision coming back. Don't make him blind again. What? Why would you? Oh! <laughs> also, welcome, Curtis. Hello. Let's see what happens when I put. Well, let's see what happens when I put the emblem of the coffin into the indentation. Last one. That's the fourth one. The puzzles look a lot like the last couple. I think this is probably the last one. Better, baby! Once we solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. Alright, I'll solve it in no time. Okay. Alright, so there you go. So, last one is we gotta make nine. Uh, we gotta make eight and nine, so let's see. Uh, you think that, but look at what you've got, because what you got is six. 11, 18, and 26. Uh, this you is... can't make... By the way, you can't make 9. Right away, you can't make 9. Yeah, because look, you've only got... You've, if you really... So let's look, let's look at so this. So really... Two, two, so... Four, two, four, 2, 4, and 5 would make 11. If you do 8 and 7, and then if you do 8, 7, which make 15... 15 and then you do, let's see, 15, you can't do it because there's no free. Okay, so, do, so do is this supposed to be just a four. trick? Yep, <laughs> yeah, it's a trick, all right. I have 15 and then it's, it's... all five, it's all five. I've already did the math already. All right, so, so it's all five. Yes, all five. Check. Check. There you go. Huh? Where did that noise come from? Underneath the keyboard came from the draw. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> That's why we're Clover. <laughs> um, way to go, John. Clover. <laughs> uh, you answered all the questions. <laughs> Damn, Jumpy, good job. Hey, did I hear something just now? Yes, I heard it as well. From the bottom left corner of the desk, I believe. The draw. What the? A picture. What? 
A picture? What the? Hey, look! It's what those guys. This? Look! Yeah, I it's know. It's the ninth man! It's also a uh, pimp Hongo. It's also Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> what, 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 what in his older years? <laughs> this man with a mustache on the right. He's the same guy we found he murdered did. in the captain's quarters. <laughs> oh, he died. <laughs> he, 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 he did. He did. He, he died of. Dead. He died of killer's remorse. He had the zero bracelet. <laughs> oh, oh no, I killed someone. I gotta kill myself. <laughs> He um sli he spilled his tomato soup and slipped and hit his head. Coat. Wow! Not only did he have killer's remorse, but he was also mm. clumsy. <laughs> He's the ninth man, the one with bracelet number nine. He died after yep. he went into door five. But this because he was tricked. The one in the striped suit. Oh, we know who he is. Oh man, that's Ace. Oh um, yeah, I guess it is. No doubt about what? it. Wait, it's Ace. I, I couldn't tell. What he looks he actually he handsome. In this Not only what do you mean? What's he doing in this picture? And, Cap too. and they look happy, like they knew each other well. Because they're entrepreneurs. How, how in the world are these four men connected? You say Ace is in that picture? Yeah. I can't see, so you have to tell me these things. Recently, <laughs> yeah, why are you Ace blind? Uh oh. And Cap <laughs> Yes, actually, I am. So Thank you for saying something so insensitive to me, Junpei. And I, and he, and he and I thought we were friends. <laughs> Which is why you're the PC police. There yes, else? actually, I've already Are called the police on you right now to get you banned picture. off Twitter. I'm afraid I can't see it. Wait, you got a phone? <laughs> There's one more guy. <laughs> Reception? Uh, He's got kind of uh, long why did he call the police? <laughs> um, he only got reception in this room now. Hmm. You fucking liar! <laughs> What's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have you had one. the phone this whole time! <laughs> Did you look on the back? back? Look on the back of the picture. Yes, the reverse. The other side. <laughs> the opposite reverse. side of this picture. You know, since this is a photo, it might have been possible that he might have written something on the back. Something that might have been a clue, like the date. That might have not been written on- I get it, Snake. Alright, Snake, I get the point! <laughs> Turn around. You know, 183. <laughs> With Nijisaki, Kubota, and Musashido. Huh. Oh. The four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. Congratulations, you figured it out. Ninth man and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. But so yep. it is like it I'm shocked about this. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. Why? Oh, I have a thought though, that you surprised. just somehow know. As if we had some weird morpho morphogenetic fields, or this has happened previously. Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary Project, but why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. <laughs> I like that. Uh, it's like it's like I, I already knew. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was. The I mean, one I wouldn't be able to tell because I can't ago. see. He was Gintaro Hongo. Ace is. Hongo? I Wait, had you my just said that, you beginning. idiot! Their voices were similar. Too similar to be a coincidence. But I couldn't I do anything because I might have died. It was the voice of the devil. I couldn't be sure, though. After all, I had I mean, no to be fair, there's check. some, in the, there's some like, adaptations that make Satan look like a pimp. <laughs> Even if I had known, however, I would never have told you. I could just imagine that when you go to hell, it's a hello there. The my way, name is like my name is Satan. Welcome to hell. How may I punish you today? <laughs> Zero made it quite clear. Oh, what how about no like punishment? Did. Oh, that's a shame. Go over there to the, go over there to the gay pounding corner. Really? I think oh it, like for me, I thought I you would say no something more along the lines of um, you're beating Electro Fitness, didn't you? <laughs> You beat him the next friends again, didn't you? I can also imagine. Well, since you committed this, you'll go to a thousand years of uh, of hard, hard labor. Oh man, you can't do that stuff. Man. Shut up! Be quiet! <laughs> Wait, say that again. Um, the first boss. Uh, well, since you've been found, uh, like, uh, you've basically committed all this murder, you'll be sent to a thousand years of uh, hard manual labor. Jeez, why didn't he just send me back up and not just do that at the old fashioned? Shut up! Big <laughs> <Huh? laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what I was doing before. I died. Nine years ago. You, you know, the whole manual labor and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. I was a slave! I know. In the cotton fields! Why? Why didn't you tell me? I mean, make it wool! Oh, you know, I'm glad I'm here. At least I'll get. At least I'll be treated with some kind of respect. <laughs> Unless you're gonna put me in the fucking minority corner. Oh, he thinks you put in the minority corner. And if you did, then I would have been forced. Even Satan was a racist. I had to prevent that. Do you think? Do you actually? Do you guys think Satan would be like racist, or do you think he wouldn't be? Well, this is the part that confuses me. All right. He's, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, Seven's like, hey, so, hey, Jupe, do you think I even borrowed a picture for a sec? Why? What for? Uh, I haven't used the toy. Did you just come on the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was thinking of Lotus. <laughs> so you did. an excuse. <laughs> Why? I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke of he was, he hasn't used the toilet and he's gonna wipe his ass with it. <laughs> Which, holy shit! <laughs> we made it better. Sure. <laughs> Give me the picture. What? What? <laughs> you came on the picture. Why? <laughs> Sorry, I needed to ask. Musashiro, Hongo. Kuboda, Nijisaki, Mus Tragic. Hongo Kuboda, Nijisaki, Musashiro. Hey, Seven, do you? Shut it. Just, just be quiet. I'm this close to remembering. This close. Hongo. Go between Kuboda, your hand and your forehead. Nijisaki, Musashiro. No, our memories are important. Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Nunary Project, 9/11, Building um. a Wall. Um, you're, you're way off. Dude, dude, I've got some bad to tell you. This on fire. Dude, 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 stop. This takes place in 2007. In 27. Oh. <gasps> I remembered. I remember now. I forgot to put the lottery on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Shit. Holy shit. shit, this is nuts. Um, what's nuts? I remember. Remember what? Everything. Everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, Everything. I remember all of it. My memory's back. <laughs> My memory's back. I, I remember what happened before I got snatched. What? Uh, what happened? Oh shit. Let me tell you what happened. Like Snake said, Ace is Hongo. From the right, the other three are Musashido, Nijisaki, and Kubota. Musashido was the man with the cash. Nijisaki was Hongo's right-hand man, and Kubota developed the actual. <laughs> Wait, I remember everything. Santa is real. Um, hello. How do you ah! know this? <laughs> oh, man, I told you. I Where did he come from? No, that's not what I mean. I'm trying to ask you why you knew all this stuff in the first place, before you forgot it. Are you, you working ready? with them? You really want to know? Of course. Me too. Hmm. Tell us, almighty this one. This is going to take a while. Hell, it'll probably take me a good three days to tell you everything. Well, we don't have three days. Just we only have like maybe an hour. Version, all right? Short version, huh? All right, fine. I'll give it a shot. No promises, though. I'm a detective. It's a little awkward to say this about myself, but you could probably consider me a lone wolf type. I hold to my own code, as I think doing what's right is more important than doing what you're told. And that's why I followed my gut that night. A slim lead brought me to the wharf. It was nine years ago. And the wharf had been cold as fuck, and I could barely see squat. I thought the blind man was, was Snake. Investigating a mess of kidnappings. The All blind the man is Snake. So why is um, that guy, why is Seven talking like he's Snake? Oh well, yeah, remember back in the Cold War. <laughs> back in because, be, because this Because he's talking about the day about when the kids went missing. It all if you listen, you'll learn. A history of visits to one particular That's what my hospital. teacher used to tell me. A hospital under the management of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. And, 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 I never, never my did. My investigation had turned up evidence that Cradle had been involved in the kidnappings. 
After a little sweet talking, I managed to finally get a real lead from someone inside Cradle. My source told me this. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. So I headed to the wharf. In the shadows, I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. There was a bunch of movement there. Men in black suits, many Seven's about bags. to try to lay the smack down on some bitches. Bags. <laughs> there was something about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. They were human oh, beings. No shit. Bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding with my gun already in my hand. Don't move. I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun. I could kill you right now. It'd be easy to get away with it, too. Just tie an anchor to your feet, and no one would find you for a week. But I'm a cop. It's Japan. And no one cares. Oh. <laughs> love a meal. No, they won't. I'm ugly. What does that have to do with anything? Cold metal thing into my skull. <sighs> There's nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly. A sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug. That was my last. I wonder thought. what. I wonder what he injected into him. And then I heard another voice. I am this. Now goes in here. <laughs> my face had cold concrete. It, it told me they. It was ju just giant bean bags that were thrown in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think back, it was. <laughs> I, thought, no, I don't think it was. <laughs> Yeah, that would have made sense if you floor. said that before. He mentioned the human bot, the human kids being in there. <laughs> I have a slow attention span. I'm sorry. Shit, my head hurts. I did a quick once over the room. Where am I? A small, shabby bed. Hey, that's the name of a movie. Sink. I remember that too. <laughs> Wait, what? What did he say? No privacy. Where am I? I Wait, is that, Wait, is that seriously a movie? Oh no, that's who am I? That's sell, Jackie Chan. Huh? I was gonna say that the Alan Finn is a movie called. Adult, Actually, wait, there probably is. You know what? Screw it. Go. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look it up on the Google. Made my way over to. Let's look it on the Google web. What did he say? Where? Pull. Where am I? Is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. Where am I? Movie. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh there is one. There is one. It's called Where Am no, I? Two thousand. Two thousand sixteen. Oh, that was leaving quite recent then. Yeah, um, a few times, but basically the plot is Dan Bigelli is trapped in a room with no doors, no phone, just a window and that it is unable down. to open. He doesn't remember <laughs> how he got there, but he is alone. <laughs> wow, that's a very similar to very, um, very this non-rary game business. I know, it's strange, isn't it? Then I heard a faint voice. Apparently it hasn't been, it's a short, it's a short mystery movie, apparently. The voice Wait, is that away. children? I couldn't understand what it was saying, but I could hear one. It was pretty high, probably a little kid. Huh. No, it was several. Hmm. I hear five or six, maybe more. Where? Maybe nine. Where are they coming from? I pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it. <laughs> no, that's Press me nice. against the wall. And then someone's still popped out of it. It was a glory hole. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Why? There's children on this ship. <laughs> it's coming from under the bed. It's a Hollywood oh, ship. Flip the thing over. What? For... What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to work that out. Oh, why is that like a fucking... Why would that be on a Hollywood ship? And second of all, why would it be for children? The bed had hidden an air vent under it. The hole in the wall was covered by a... Um... And, yeah, uh, that's, that, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff I can't really that's say. <laughs> I knew it in my gut. Yeah, that's I'll right. Just, uh, this was where those voices were coming from. I'll just, I'll, I'll just sort of like, you know, like that. And just like, but then leave it all the end of the whole thing. Yeah, because you're not careful if someone can misinterpret it. just set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? Has anyone got any butter? All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. Is that? Could I fit? What? I stuck my fingers in and no. grabbed it. Who said that? 
Who said that? Who the fuck said that? <gasps> Man, it's really lucky that none of the, the secu none of the bad people can hear this. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like that, you son of a bitch? No, I don't. I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face, so I wiped it off and crawled That's inside. That's the detail he needed. <laughs> it's a visual novel. Oh, son of a bitch! I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn! I should have bought my trusty butter. <laughs> wind up eventually yeah. in the damn this big dick of mine. My hands and knees. <laughs> I'm crawling like a worm. Damn it! It's stuck. It's stuck to the like side of the crate. <laughs> Couldn't say it was much better, but damn it, I, I can't it. adjust myself like I can't usually can. Basically, because I'm actually stuck in a vent. Take me. Oh, I can't save the children. A massive sound nearly scared the piss out of me. It was like a heavy metal door just been slammed shut. Then never heard that band voice. before. Heavy metal door. Oh shit! The incinerator. Oh, oh god! The little bastard set it off. Well, he dead. No, not he dead. No, the children have set it off. Well, oh, what the fuck? The he dead. The what? The children have set the fucking thing off! Men, but anything with incinerator is bad news. Then, almost as if that was a cue, I heard a mess of young sounding voices. No. <laughs> a bunch of them were straight up screaming in terror. Yes. Children are in. Up. Children, there are children in, this, in the incinerator. Damn it. What the hell My is going favorite. On here? Um... I scrambled through the dust <laughs> as fast as I could. I made a giant racket, but I didn't care at that point. I soon found a metal door on the left side of the duct. The kids were screaming on the other side. I found it. I yanked the handle and threw the door open. I almost ripped the metal off its hinges. What the... What the hell is this place? I couldn't believe what I saw. The room had a dome up top. There had to be about nine walls, all the same size. Up in the ceiling was an upside-down funnel. Almost like... Children, are you in here? Shit. I looked down. There they were. The hey, look! Searching for. They all I spy up some familiar faces. For the moment, from surprise and fear. Scared of the room or me, I couldn't tell. Probably both. Can you recognize some of those children? Yeah, I think I do. Not like I, can I can't. Richard's um, screen, like screen is, um, scratch. <laughs> Same. I snorted at my own dig at myself and turned to the kids. I see. I think one of them Santa. Another one Snake. Is that Lotus in the back? Uh, remember when I told you that Lotus is 40? This could have been 20 years ago. It's nine. You just said it was nine years ago. Shut up. Don't worry, kids. I'm not your enemy. I'm it doesn't help, kids. though, that, that flipping seven is 45. All of them stood there, frozen. Well, but you're on the right line. She is right at the seven. Private school uniform. Who the hell are you? He stepped forward and glared at me, suspicious. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. It looked like they relaxed some the second I got the words out. How are you gonna help us? Where's the exit? There isn't one. The doors we came in through won't open, and the door over there... He kind of cut himself off. I think he was considering something before he changed his mind. Anyway, there's no point. We can't all get out of here. If we don't get out of here, we're gonna be burned to death. Burned to death? Can't you hear it? That voice said the incinerator's gonna start up soon. So. Oh, so that's so... what that was. Oh. Whoops. The voice spoke again. Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. Okay, we got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Fine. Make the time shorter. The kids. Looks like a good 20 or 30 feet to the floor. No way I could pull them up. Too big of a distance for any of us to reach. What the hell was I gonna do? But then I got an idea. Wait right there. I'm gonna be right back. What? Where, where is he going? Are, are you just gonna leave us here? They just got frightened again. I'm not the it best. Sounds like multiple man. children are in there. But you just sure can't see them. Smile. Don't worry, alright? I'll be back. I promise. So just stay calm and wait right Wait, hold on. Did all nine got of it? them get through? I didn't wait to hear them respond. It wasn't time. Man! Children do better than adults do. <laughs> I had to hurry. 
Well, as fast as a guy could on his hands and knees. Didn't take me long to get back to my cell. Still no way out of there, but I had a plan. I needed something from the room. When I got it, I dove back into the hole and took off towards the incinerator. Then... I wonder what he got. <laughs> I pulled out my gun. <laughs> Why would that be back in the room? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. I thought, I thought you were going to say, I got my mattress. How did Tipped you pull that through? Down the rope I, brought I don't know. You had a rope with you? Back oh, he made it no, from the bed. The bed the he made from the sheets. Sloppy, but it got the job done. All right, just tie that around yourself, okay? I'll pull that you up one at a time. one girl in the right. pink looks familiar. Huh. Wait a sec. Something was off. There were more of you before. Where'd the rest of you go? The boy in the uniform answered. I let them go on ahead. We opened the number nine door and they left. What? You're telling me you opened that door? That's what I said. Then what the hell are you doing here? We couldn't go with them. Why not? Look, the only people who can go through the numbered door... He was in the middle of explaining when... Stop your monologuing because <laughs> your time stop. is... Because your time is now. <laughs> five. The wall shook a bit. And, and then I thought it was going to go five or three, two. <laughs> <laughs> that can wait, all right? Just get us out of here! Uh, right! I grabbed onto the rope. The first one I pulled up was a girl with a ponytail. Next was a girl with a red necktie. A boy in a jacket came after. He said he'd climb up on his own. The boy in the uniform was the last up. Like the other kid, he climbed up. Come on, you old bastard! Come on! Come on! Strong, Could I have on my record that children have died? He moved fast, but when he was almost to me, we heard some knocking. Everyone looked at the door. Uh oh! A thick square window set into it. On the other side, an angry face was staring in. God oh god. What's going on here? <laughs> I wanted to see those children burn! Why is the room empty? Where the hell are those fucking kids? <laughs> Shut up! Be quiet! That doesn't make sense. Oh my god, please say the door shuts on him when he stands inside and he gets killed instead. That would be really funny, that. <laughs> What's going on here? Door is now shuttered. No, wait! Wait, what have I done? Zero! <laughs> wait, who's Zero? I mean... The man's name? I mean, Hongo! Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He looks pissed. Hongo saw the boy hanging from the rope. He screamed. <laughs> he did scream. He, scream. <laughs> he lunged for the rope. Give me that child! He was like I an know. animal. Great. The boy in the uniform booked it. I can imagine door. like he's just running on a all like all fours dashing towards him. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Get back here, you little shit! Fifteen feet. Come here and burn to death! The second I could reach the kid, I grabbed him. I hauled him up and tossed him into the duck behind me. Which happened to be, um, to be the first. <laughs> and I don't want to be set on fire again! <laughs> Wait, again? His face didn't even look human. It was like the bastard pulled off his fake face. He was really a terrifying devil or some kind of damn monster. I quickly well, I mean, yeah, he did kidnap that children so he could see them suffer. Devil, some kind of monster. <gasps> Broly! <laughs> You won't get away with this! How dare you, you fucking bastard! Bastard. experiment! You won't get away, Kakarot! I'm just gonna cook some kids. Yep. That was very fun. You'll figure- you'll learn more about an experiment. <laughs> I'm guessing it's, um, hey, will kids leave man. behind? What the hell are you doing? Hurry up! It's it's- it's murder in children game. Yeah, At this point, the man was so furious, he stayed in the room and stomped around a bit. The door closed on him, and then he got incinerated. Boy, the oh, no! <laughs> I may have thrown a salute in a raging asshole's face before I closed the door behind me. Is that really such a good idea? Oh, I told so we went you down he was the other get direction instead. After about 30 feet, we came across another duct on the left. This one was heading down. When he nodded, and took turns sliding down it. The duck go, 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 you little bastards! Go, we gotta get out of here. There's a crazy the man in here. Side. There's a crazy the man with crazy the eyes. But the one on the right is familiar. It had black and yeah. Yeah. Stripes and a device next to it on the wall. It's the other side of the third, of the incinerator. Incinerator. Let's go with that one. Yeah, that's where we were. 
was the girl with the red tie who answered me. You were inside an incinerator? Yeah. What? Wow. It might still be there. It looks like it's been shut off, though. Wait, what? If he's still in there. Yeah. That's not good. Hunger! <laughs> <laughs> he's blaming himself for being in there. <laughs> Not just that he's blaming himself in the third person. <laughs> That's just gonna be there as a pick. We gotta get out of here. Go to the I gotta like, find something to do for that then. It looks like school goes on. The hot stuff for a change. <laughs> Bingo. The other side of the door is a large um, staircase. Run! I think I think that they're the like the kids are like 11, 12. Up and up and up. Right. Feet pounding the steps. Our arms pumping fast. Round, round, round. Devils on the tail. The stairway kept going. The stairs just the keep going. As we were going the uniform suddenly spoke. God, I'm getting. Guys, hold up! I'm getting dizzy from up these stairs. Akane's not catching up to us. Akane. My kid sister. The girl with the red necktie. Akane. Akane. I didn't remember That's seeing strange. her in the list of missing kids. Hey! Akane! He kept his hands around his mouth and yelled. <laughs> you, you, you do realize that uh, covering your hands around maybe? your mouth is actually not going to make you echo? Well, the uniforms get it to a stop. I stopped too. So did the other two kids. When did we do that? Well, we passed a couple big rooms on the way here. Maybe she took a rest in one of them? No, that's impossible. Sorry, Grandpa. You keep going. I gotta go look for her downstairs. He turned to go. Ain't happening, kid. Wait. I'm going with you. God damn it, I said wait! Uh, I don't think the why do no kid? Me. Why does no one listen to me? I'm a detective! Fuck! I spun around to the boy I'm important! The, jacket, the girl with the ponytail. I'm going after him. You two keep going, alright? You got it? The girl nodded and ran up the stairs. But the boy... I'm going with you. <sighs> I didn't have right. time to argue. All right, boy who looks like Snake. We ran all the way it sounds suspiciously floor. like Snake. If your Come name is Snake. To be found. I don't even know my name. How did she go? I could tell the kid was frustrated. And then suddenly. Help me! Somebody help me! We heard uh -oh. his voice. Akane! The boy in the uniform threw open the door leapt into the hallway by the incinerator. We rushed in after him. I couldn't for the life of me believe what we were seeing. That bastard Hongo had Kane by the arm and was oh, shit. the incinerator. Come on, goddammit, move! You're going into that incinerator and you're gonna like it! No, I don't want to! Let me go, please! Let go of me! She planted her feet squarely on the floor and was struggling to get away. But you said you like bacon in the oven? <laughs> well, there's gonna be the exception. You're gonna be bait made you into bacon. Anger and charge toward Hongo. Help me! <laughs> you said you were into bacon. You're too late. I didn't idiot. mean literally. Hongo lifted a kind of bodily. I like eating it. I don't want to be bacon. <laughs> Before we could even blink, Hongo had leapt through the door after her. We saw him land inside. Uh oh. Door slammed shut. We ran to the door. We did everything we could think of to get the thing open. But. Ah, fuck! It's no use! The goddamn thing won't move an inch! He started slamming his fists against the door. He was close to shattering his knuckles with how hard he pounded on it. voice was muffled, but all of us could hear the sheer terror in it. What should I do? I, I think I'm trapped in here. Where's Hongo? He went out the other door. W what? Oh, of course he can just do that. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic There's an emergency incineration command? 18 minutes. Uh oh. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Repeat. No, because Hongo's flipping got an emergency access code and he's Stay locked there, up doors. Wonderful. Are you there? 
Yeah, he couldn't here. burn not eight, on, nine right? children, we're so now he's gonna burn to one you. child. His words would have seemed like a sick joke to her if she'd been able to see how white and bloodless his face was right then. Incineration will begin in 17 minutes. Figure something out, I promise. I promise, okay? You hear me? I promise. It was torture listening to her son. Don't make promises you can't keep. Now is the time. Brian was nearly crying himself. <laughs> he could only stand there. This clenched so tight his knuckles were white. <sighs> uh, what happened then? Come on, man. Put yourself in my shoes. It doesn't end good. Think I want to remember that? Then... Yeah. Shit. If I'd known it was gonna be like this... I almost wish I hadn't remembered. Hey, um... Are you... Are you sure? Huh? Look, I don't want to ask this either, but... There's... There's something I don't get. Hmm. So if you could just... Tell me... Did that girl, Akane... Really... Yeah, I'm sure. There wasn't anything we could do. After a while, the countdown ended, and we heard something burning. We... The fire stopped, but we still didn't move. Me and the jacket kid were frozen. The boy in the uniform collapsed as if he couldn't hold himself up anymore. A few minutes passed. The door opened. The boy in the uniform tripped over his own feet running in. We followed, too numb to speak. The air in the incinerator was hot. Every breath made my lungs feel like they were on fire. It was like standing on hot asphalt. The air was wavering and... And in the middle of the room... There it lay. The kid's legs were shaking so bad I don't know how he managed to walk. I couldn't see his face, but... His body somehow looked empty. Finally, he reached it. He fell to his knees as his legs gave out on him. And then... Um... Um... Uh, can I ask you one more thing? What's that? The girl. Was she hot? Akane. What was her last name? <laughs> it's it too much. To you? <laughs> just, just tell me, okay? Please? Kurashiki. Her name was Akane Kurashiki. 